black op CIA army is running the local environmental group to set up carbon taxes in Austin. These people know this is their excuse to brainwash your kids, to turn them against you. We could play the Al Gore clip of him in an auditorium to elementary students saying, your parents are wrong. Man-made global warming is real. You must teach them. You must report on them. Kathleen Sabellis last week saying, kids, go out and tell your parents they're wrong about the flu shot and that they should take it. They're trying to take over your kids. You need to go to the schools, the PTAs, the county commissioners, the city councils, the state houses, and point out the internal emails of this all being a fraud to set up global government taxes. Now, here's one example. We need articles exposing other scientific frauds and, and, and this is not the only fraud. Al Gore was caught putting carbon dioxide. In fact, Google Al Gore's carbon dioxide graph, and it'll be photos of him on images standing in front of a big TV screen with a graph on red and green. And he flipped it. All the universities, all the governments had the real graph. Within 100 years of temperatures going up, carbon dioxide goes up because it releases carbon dioxide from the water and the ice caps. There's more plant and animal life. More carbon dioxide is then put out. But mainly it's the oceans that release it. And so he flipped the graphs. He got caught two years ago and doesn't use that graph. He's been caught photoshopping hurricanes that don't exist. He's been caught lying and saying polar bears can't swim with the strongest swimming land animal. He'll show them on an ice float hunting seal and say, oh, look, it's stuck. He's going to drift away and die when polar bear numbers have exploded globally. This is all admitted. It's all fraud. It's all lies. There's Al Gore with his fraudulent graph where he shows carbon dioxide in line with warming when it actually follows it. And he knows that he is a fraud. He is a criminal. He needs to be investigated for racketeering, trying to defraud the public with a global tax. Now, I want to just finish with Piltdown Man. We'll take your calls and get more into this. Piltdown Man. The Piltdown Man is a famous paleontological hoax concerning the finding of remains of a previously unknown early human. The hoax find consisted of fragments of a skull and jawbone collected in 1912 from a gravel pit in Piltdown, Essex, England. The fragments were thought by many experts of the day to be the fossilized remains of hereto unknown form of early man. The Latin name translates to Darwin's Dawn Man after the collector Charles Dawson was given to the specimen. The significance of the specimen remained the subject of controversy until it was exposed in 1953, 41 years later, as a forgery, consisting of the lower jawbone of a ancient pig that had been a prehistoric pig that had been deliberately combined with the skull of a fully developed modern human. The Piltdown hoax is perhaps the most famous paleontological hoax in history. It has been prominent for two reasons, the attention paid to the issue of human evolution and the length of time, more than 40 years, that elapsed from its discovery to its full exposure as a forgery. And then it goes on to how it was a pig job. Now, that's all this is. But instead of the guy going around the country making hundreds of thousands of dollars showing the fake skull, that was his reason to be engaged in fraud. The reason the U.N. and J.P. Morgan and Goldman Sachs want this, and the reason they're the main funders of these groups, along with George Soros, is that it allows the private IMF to levy taxes on everyone, and the U.N. and private carbon credit companies run by Al Gore and also partially owned, this is Wall Street Journal, by Barack Obama, you will have to buy your credits from them, and they will decide what new businesses get government funding what corporate, Al Gore said he wants to bankrupt the coal companies. Global body needs to direct green technology. G77 says developing nations call for UN body to police battle on climate change. They will decide what technologies you can have. They will decide what is to be taxed. They will run your life. And we have the articles up there at prisonplanet.com right now with the quotes by the UN and Henry Kissinger and all of them about how this is meant to destroy the industrial society and vertically integrate it under their control. This is so important to get this out to everyone now, to get the articles we've written with the emails, with the documents, so people get the full picture 
Unfortunately, hardly anybody else is putting the full picture together of why they want the fraud, the past fraud they've engaged in, the new fraud, how they were caught persecuting scientists, how they were caught in the emails colluding with government to block the real climate data from coming out. This is a giant criminal operation between the British, the U.S., the EU, the Canadian government, NASA, you name it, caught red-handed. Now, until we go to break, I've got a guest with us. And then we're going to come back and take calls and get into other news and flu news for the balance of the show. News like batch of H1N1 vaccine recalled for severe reactions, including people getting paralyzed and dying. Mainstream news. I mean, it's all insane. And it's all coming up. But for the next seven minutes, I want to bring up Steve Shank of eFoodsDirect.com, one of our great sponsors who joins us once a month because the globalists want us dependent on them. And Steve Shank has... All these different lines of non-GMO, non-hybrid, some organic, everything. He's got everything. It's the lowest price, the longest continually operating company, the best people where I bought food. I didn't like the other companies I bought from. I liked his food. I contacted him. I got him as a sponsor. That's why he's our sponsor. And with all this craziness going on, you need to be self-sufficient. With the depression they're setting up, the death of the dollar, all of this, you need guns, you need food, you need water filters. And the place to get the recently packed, a lot of people are selling 10, 15-year-old food. This was packed in the last month. Well, Steve Shank, thanks for coming on with us. Hey, Alex, great job. This is absolutely wonderful. This global warming garbage is something that you and I talked about way back when Obama was trying to be elected. And uh, he was saying that they... They were dealing with cow farts and dealing with the, the farmers creating more. They're going to they're gonna tax the cow flatulence, chicken flatulence, L.A. Times, your dog's flatulence is going to be taxed. People didn't believe Schwarzenegger was going to tax all TVs and ban above 40 inches. He just did it without even passing a law. I mean, it's happening. Yep. And the interesting thing is, is it all relates to food, oddly enough. All of this global warming stuff, they're, they're talking about the farmers. The U.N. says they want to shut off the food. You're right. Yep, absolutely. And you see, the beautiful thing is, is that uh, we just came out with this new product, this new prepared food that people can, can put into their homes for less than what they're paying for groceries, and it beats the daylights out of anything else that they've got. And we just, I've got to announce this on your show. We waited to do it. We've just done a 10% across the board price reduction for three weeks. And it's on everything. If people get up on the website, eFoodsDirect.com, they can find some fabulous, fabulous food. And by the way, the Steve, the site the was awesome. The site was awesome before. It's now off the charts, eFoodsDirect.com. Yep. And the main thing is, is that people are using this food now, Alex. It's not a matter of just sticking it back in store. You it. predicted that two years ago. They bought it when it was cheaper. Now inflation's going up. They're now living off of it. Absolutely. And the fact is is that uh, if, if people will get in touch with us, essentially the one thing that they can do, the thing that people have to have is a base so that they can deal with all these battles that you're helping us fight. How many more frauds are we going to have? We went through the global warming. We got the swine flu. We Before the swine flu, we had the bird flu, the, cow, the mad cow disease, and all this kind of garbage, these designer viruses. Now we've got all sorts of things that are threatening the food supply, particularly the global warming, warming was after it. A lot of the legislation that you and I have talked about to shot, chop back the food was as a result of using this global warming as an excuse. Absolutely. Now in it. Absolutely. And you've got a bunch of new specials and great packages. Tell folks about the incredible products at E, the letter E, foodsdirect.com. Well, what they are is they're all, they're all designed to be eaten rather than, <laughs> rather than just stored back. The main thing that this is, is it's good raw food. If you get the bulk packs, there are two ways to do it. You can pack in the bulk if you want the absolute maximum amount of food for the least number of dollars. If you're really tight financially and you put some sweat equity into cooking it yourself, you're great. The other line we just came out with, Alex, is absolutely phenomenal. We've got backpackers and uh, families just living on this stuff. And uh, the foods are extremely nutritious, extremely well balanced, and they're all prepared. And you and you put them together. A nine year old can cook dinner for you, and you've got better food than you have in a gourmet restaurant. The pricing, like I say, we just got by with a ten percent reduction in all the costs on everything across the board for the next three weeks, just because some of the contracts and things that are coming up. We literally have people from your show putting together food banks. 
not food banks, but food vaults, I'm sorry. And uh, we've got investor groups that are putting in food just because of the things that you've said. And it's just it's taxing our production facilities, but that means we get better pricing. And that's well, that's another issue.